So here at the Gigabyte uh, area here, we're going to check out the 384 core Thunder X ARM server. So how do you design this? Well, this is designed as a 2U 4 node system. So basically, it's a standard 2U Raycon chassis. Is it the same but that you showed yesterday? This is a slightly different version that you can access from the rear of a rack cabinet. So this is the front and this is the rear? Yeah, and like this is the phone and the rear. So it's the same thing inside, just, just upside down. So how many people use this and how many people use that? It depends on the data center configuration. Some people organize their data center yeah, to, ac to access the front. Yes, usually we're doing the front side yeah. access. Yeah. This is the front side access and this is real access. Usually we're doing the front side access with the like research yeah. lab university. Yeah. And usually people with the enterprise or the small medium business, they were doing the real side access. Is this, uh, is this a product for uh, big, big, big cloud companies or is it more for enterprise? What is it? Uh, this is for the big cloud companies. So the big, big cloud the, companies, they can use this? Yes. For the higher computing, for the higher performance. So in one data center, how many of these can be? Oh. As many as you want. <laughs> yeah. 11,000. 11,000 11, 11, is possible. 11,000 11, or the 15,000 units. Yes, depends. And so uh, can you talk about the power consumption? Uh, how is the power consumption compared to traditional old, oh not, I won't say old, but the uh, other kind of x86 server, how, how is it going? Yeah, we can uh, explain this kind of power consumption. For example, each Thunder X CPU will cost around 145 watts. And right now in Intel, let's say Xeon Echo 5, each one 145 to 160. But in Intel, it's only 16 core. 16, one six. Six, one six cores. But for this one, each one, 48 core. Which means same power consumption, but three triple, triple speed. Of triple it. speed? Triple cores. Triple cores, it's not triple cores. speed. It's no, not triple, triple speed. So how triple is it cores. compared in the speed? How, is it, how can you uh, define? We can, uh, yeah. we're also doing this kind yeah. of CPU performance testing. We are also doing this kind of CPU performance testing, running with these systems. Yeah. And uh, we already get the same performance benchmark number for the uh, Thunder X. This one with Intel Echo 5 2699. We get the equal scores. So equal scores to which Intel? Uh, is that the uh, Echo 5 2699 V3? All right. So. Is this, how is the software different on ARM and x86? What is needed to be done? Oh, currently for ARM, we support to Ubuntu, we support to uh, Linux. But uh, this is a very um, unique, very special software. So compared with the standard x86 software, this Windows Server is very different. It's very different from yes. Windows Server, but how about uh, a cloud company, very big one, will use Linux, right? Yes. And so, so is no the software, everything is working? That. Yes. Or some things need to be changed a lot for uh, no, this to work? No, it can completely to adapt into the cloud service. All right. And uh, is this uh, finished? Is it stable? Or how much more work before you can release? Uh, this one is very first prototype. Right now we just released. And we are going to launch this product in November as the mass production. But right now we can provide the stable sample until November, uh, September for the sample validation. All right, so uh, people will take one, they will plug it in, and then they will run the software, it just works? Yes. It uh, really works now? Yes, it really works now. And uh, how about, uh, what do you, what's on here? There's a lot of RAM, what's going on? So you have four blades, right? Like a blade yeah. is a, a tray, basically like this, yeah. you can just pull. So there, that's what you see. And this have, one is full up of have, RAM? This one is fully loaded. So uh, under this, you have the... Can, uh, can we open, take it out? Yeah. So you have the processors here. This is for like the air circulation. Yeah. So the processors, so this is loaded with RAM. So you have here, indeed, the 16 dim slots, DDR4, high speed. How many uh, GB is possible? Just standard? How company? many what? So it could be a lot of RAM. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 
how many how much RAM is possible? Oh, like, like, like Intel, it's, it's, like Intel, it supports up to 64 GB single modules. 64, 64, 64, 64. S 60, 16 times 64. So 16. Yeah, it's a lot, a lot of gigabytes. A lot of. And then <laughs> all of those gigabytes of RAM can be used by the ARM CPU. Yeah. Like, uh, there's no problem for uh, the ARM CPU to take care of everything. The, the, this, this depends on the software, yes. not the hardware. So the, yeah. there's no hardware limitation for yes. this kind of. All right. And uh, how do, how, what consideration you have to design this? How, so, how did you? Uh, because you have a long history of making servers, right? Yes. So it's just standard. This is yeah, standard. It's, uh, standard. We already have like Intel-based system with the exact same design. Which is which is made with airflow consideration mostly to keep everything cool. So how about uh, cooling? How, how hot does it get compared to an Intel? You said it has the same performance as uh, the. This, uh, this, this has a lower consumption than Intel, so of course it will be cooler. So it's lower consumption. Yes. Lower than the consumption. same performance Intel. Same performance as Intel. But but cores, yeah, cores is much higher than. More cores and More lower cores. lower heat and lower power lower consumption. Heat. Yes, lower. How much lower power consumption? Like one, one processor is 95 watts, as she said. Like Intel yeah. can go up to 150, 160 watts. Yes. So that's yes. almost twice less. Ah, twice less the power consumption per processor. Per processor. Yes. So, so that's much less heat. For example, for each CPU, 95 watts. But for Intel, 145. So for example, each one we can last around 50 watts. But totally, you have eight CPUs. So totally, you can last around 400 watts. 400, 400 watts, watts for one two. For one system. For one system. One system. 400 watts less. Yes. And so that means uh, the cooler and everything looks different from an Intel. Everything, or is it? No, the, the cooler is design. the same. The cooler is the same, but the power usage yeah. can be more efficiency. Is it uh, lower, so there's less heat coming out of the system, right? Yes. And so what does that change in the server design? Uh, money, like less, 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 power money. Is, less money. Less, less money you yes. spend on power consumption. If, for example, if, one you, uh, if through you, you are uh, having less 400 power watts, 400 watts, but compared with the rack, for each rack, 20 servers. You can save the money. That's, I think it's 8,000, no? Ah, 8,000, yes. Per Power rack. Is money. Yeah. And uh, so how much money is that? It's a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, it's 8,000 kilowatts, yeah. So did you do a lot, a lot of tests with the CPU already? Is it, uh, yes. is it stable? Yes, is stable. it uh, Is it uh, good uh, yield? There's no like problems? Um, Everything is ready soon? We start, for example, like Thunder X. We start from the, let's go to the city yeah. uh, server systems for this one. Because this is so, also Thunder X right yes. here. We start from the Thunder X with this when single did you, socket. Yeah. This start from last year. Okay. So did you already show this earlier or you were working without showing? Oh, uh, we showing this last year. Last year. We already launched this last yeah. year with KVMs. So this is a single socket KVMs. And is this now, on the market? Uh, right now in the market. It is on the yes. market. Yes. But it's only one. Only one. So we start from single socket to dual socket. All right. This is the difference. So from the CPU wise, it's very stable. How about the PCB? Because you are a motherboard company, right? Yes. So. Um, what kind of work goes into making a motherboard for ARM server compared to an x86 server motherboard? What's the difference in the, all this stuff in here? Uh, the difference thing is usually if working with the Intel C, uh, CPU, Intel design. Uh, for the CPU is individually with the CPU. Yeah, yeah. And we can bring one That's, of those. Yeah, sure. So which one is it comparable to in performance? Is it one of those uh, or no? No, 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 no it's not. Okay. With but one. so um, if, if we can bring one of those motherboards, so how does it look different, this and this? Almost the same, but the difference thing is, this is the Intel one and this is the Kavion one. So from the PCB wise or from the design wise is the same, but the difference thing is how to make so much core of the CPU work stable in the yeah. in the PCB. So, so many cores work stable. So is there any like difference in uh, some of the chips that goes around? 
Uh, yes, for this one, for the KBM one, we use the chip. We'll uh, need to take more stability and more of the computing voice. All right. All right. And uh, uh, Kevium also has some other components on the SOC, right? Yes. Here before you need uh, which one? Like Ethernet or? Or the LAN, LAN controller. Where's the Ethernet and LAN controller? Is some somewhere in here? Inside the. Yeah. And so here, it's, everything goes on the SOC. It makes it cheaper or more simple or no? The, uh, the, piece, the motherboard. Uh, the efficiency of this kind of SOC will become into the BIOS portion. For the software integration, there will be more easier because directly from the CPU to connect in the motherboard size. But for the Intel, we need to integrate with different brands of the components to into one. All right. Yes. And so um, here, from going from one to two, what did you learn from going from one from one to two? Did you make it more simple the the, the layout on the motherboard? Ah, uh, no, it's more complex. More complex. <laughs> yes. So how is it more complex? Because it's single socket compared with dual sockets, yeah. and also the memory wise, yeah. and also for the longer boards, so for the signal of the PCB signal of the design that will be very important for this kind of PCB. Signal? Signal. Where is the signal? Trace of the signal. No, no, no. Yeah. This is the PCB design of yeah. the signal for the component signal. But the, w the way I see it, as, as I can see, I don't know yes. about PCB design, it looks very clean and, and like yes. orderly. Here is more messy? More mess yes. Because it's earlier design? Yes, earlier design. It's so, from last year. So you learn and you and make it more... But it's still more complicated, but it's like... We put everything we need to into... A lot of things board. under? Yes. Also? Oh, uh, no, not under. Everything on top? Ev everything on top. Right. And what is this over here? This one? Yeah. This is a power supply back flamble. We have the power supply here, redundant power supply. So this is a power distribution board. Can distribute the power All right. into motherboard, into the back flamble. So would you say that this uh, this is a pretty, may, I, I think maybe it's the most powerful ARM processor in the world. Yes. So is this the highest performance per power in the yes. whole world? Yes, Solution this right is here. currently the most powerful one. And so uh, cloud companies already in contact with any yes. any enterprise, small enterprise can contact, are they going um, be interested in this? Yeah, right now many customers are interested with this. And so they can just contact Gigabyte and start, and start talking to work with about us. this. Yes. All right, cool.